Okay, uh, in this video we're going to have a look at dictionaries, which are kind of similar to lists but not quite the same. Um, if you remember, a list uh, is a collection of um, items stored in a single variable um, which is ordered uh, and you can access individual items within that list. Why am I describing this? Why don't I just show you? Um, so I could have a list of animals, for instance. I could say animals uh, equals, and then uh, let's have, I don't know, goat. That's not how you spell goat. Goat. Um, we could have, give me another animal, a badger. Yes, badger. Um, uh, what else have we got? Um, uh, what about a weasel? That's right, a weasel. I've got three different items there, uh, and if I print uh, the contents of that um, when I run my code, uh, you can see here it prints out goat, badger, and weasel. And as before, uh, in my previous video, I showed you how to access the individual items. Um, you could do something like this uh, print. Uh, let's print out animals. Um, we want the, the second item in there. Now remember the indices are numbered 0, 1, 2. So if we want the second item that's going to be the item at index 1. That should print out well the whole of the animals list and then um, the um, just the word badger. Um, so if I run that now, you can see there is the output. Okay, so I'm not going to go th into too much detail about lists here uh, because you've seen them before, and if you're ha if you haven't seen them before, then check out my previous video about um, lists. It is available on the Google Classroom. Right. Now then, dictionaries. Dictionaries are kind of similar um, to lists, but instead of um, having a number assigned to them and being stored in order, a dictionary doesn't retain any specific order, and instead of using a number as an identifier, we use an actual word. So, for instance, we could do something like um, this. Let's say uh, we have... Um, a number of different animals and uh, they have certain names okay let's call it named animals named animals let's say for instance I have an animal called um, Charlie what type of animal is Charlie well Charlie is a badger okay Charlie the badger I've also got an animal called um, Cynthia let's say yeah whatever and Cynthia is a, uh, a stoat stoat there we go and um, I have an animal called Clive um, and uh, Clive is a pine martin okay if you don't know what those animals are go and have a look so um, you'll notice that dictionaries, the way that I've structured this, it looks kind of similar to my list here. Uh, I should really have a space after each of those uh, colons there. Uh, instead of using the square brackets like I've used here, I use the squiggly braces. Okay, so it's braces for a dictionary, it's uh, square brackets for um, a list. Now if I was to print um, my list of named animals, Let's have a look and see what we get. I've got Charlie, Badger, Cynthia, Stoke, Clive, Pine, Martin. Um, now, when I've printed that out, that has retained the order that we put it in there, but that's just coincidence. I wonder what would happen if I added uh, Alice to the mix here. And, uh, call, and let's say Alice is a uh, crow. Alice the Crow. Uh, Alice the Crowley. There you go. Oh, it still maintained the order. Uh, there's no guarantee that um, your dictionary is going to be in the order that you uh, originally wrote it, is, is the point that I'm making. Uh, because although lists have a set order, here is index 1 is goat, index, sorry, index 0 is goat, index 1 is badger, index 2 is weasel. Uh, there's no guarantee that the order of this dictionary is going to stay the same. But that's fine, because dictionaries are not there for us to access in an ordered fashion like lists. They are there so that we can pull out information 
related to certain other types of information. For instance, if I wanted to find out what type of animal Clive is, I could do this. Print named animals. Now the way that we access the individual items, it's no different to the way that we access individual items in our um, list, but instead of specifying a number as an index, we specify the actual key value here. So Clive is the key. Okay, Each of these items before the colon is a key. Charlie is a key. Cynthia is a key. Clive is a key. Alice is a key. And then the values are all the things after the colon. What this is going to do is going to search for the key Clive. And once it finds it, it's going to print out the uh, value Pine Martin. So when I run that, you can see there it is. Okay, so that was a fairly silly example, um, but you could use dictionaries to create uh, a record. Um, and you could have a number of people that have their own set record. So, for instance, we could have something uh, like a, uh, a student record, for instance. Student equals, um, maybe we have name. Um, let's say the name is Bob. Um, and we have age. And let's say the age is uh, 12. You'll notice there I haven't put quote marks around the 12 because with dictionaries, just like with lists, you can mix your data types. Um, what else is there? I don't know. Favorite color. Um, uh, let's just abbreviate that. Fav color. Uh, and let's say uh, Bob's favorite color is going to be blue. And uh, let's say... Um, target grade uh, is target grade is a I don't know nine let's say Bob we're, we're, we're expecting good things from Bob here okay uh, the way that it's set up it's no different to what we've got here um, but you can see we're storing instead of storing lots of different information which is linked by uh, a common name we're, we're storing lots of different bits of information about a single person Okay, so if I was to, let's just see what happens when I print out uh, student here, like that. Uh, name, age, favorite color, target grade. Oh, it's remained, it's, it's retained the order there. I don't know, maybe they've, maybe they've sorted it out in, um, uh, in the latest Python so that it does that. I don't know. Um, but again, if we find out the, um, uh, the student's uh, name, uh, or if we want to find out what the student's name is, we could do something like print uh, student. So student is the name of the variable, and then what element within that record are we accessing? Uh, name. Uh, it should print out Bob there. Okay. Now, only one more thing to tell you about dictionaries, and that is uh, the fact that you can add new items to them. Let's say, for instance, someone says, oh, you know what? Um, that student record that you've got, uh, can you also add, um, I don't know, how many um, cakes Bob eats or something like that. Um, so I can say student um, num cakes, let's call it num cakes. So this is the number of cakes that he can eat at any one time and he's it's, let's say, 56. Um, what have I done here? I've messed that up. Should be equals 56 like that. Okay, so you see what's going on there. We're saying student, well we know that's a dictionary already, uh, and even though this key doesn't exist, the fact that we're just adding it here and assigning it a value means that that is going to be created. Okay, if I now was to print out uh, the whole of the student uh, dictionary uh, when I run that, you can see we've now got old num cakes at the end there. Okay. You can overwrite existing values as well. Maybe uh, Bob's changed his name. Okay, we can say student uh, name like that um, equals maybe he's changed his name to Jim. And once again, if we just print uh, the student record there, the student dictionary, you can see uh, it has updated that thing. That's really all there is to it. Dictionaries are very, very useful if you want to um, store associated uh, data. For instance, a username and password. You might have something like this. Um, let's call it access. 
access equals. Now, the format that we're going to take here, the, the keys are going to be usernames and the uh, values are going to be passwords. So maybe we've got the username uh, Bob and maybe Bob's password is, I don't know, uh, Alice. Bob has got the hots for Alice. So there's his password. Not a secure password, but you know, that's Bob for you. That's Bob through and through. Um, so maybe we've got another username here, uh, Dr. Destructo. Um, and Dr. Destructo's password is um, killdozer uh, with the O replaced with a with a with a zero. Okay. And if I print out uh, my access list, um, you can see we get the same same deal here, right? Now, how is this useful? You might be thinking. Well. If you've got a list of all of the um, usernames, you can search through that list of uh, values. Here's how you do it. Right? You can pull out a list of all of the keys in your dictionary. And you do it like this. Um, you would say something like print uh, access dot keys. Like that, All right? When I run that now, you can see it's pulled out a list of all of the keys. Okay, the first key is Bob. The second key is Doctor Destructo. Now, if you're using this to store usernames and passwords, you can easily then go and find out um, whether a username exists because you could do something like this. If um, I tell you what, let's let's say you name equals input um, what is your username um, question mark um, and then we can say if you name in um, access dot keys okay if that username is in there we can then uh, maybe print um, Username exists, at which point we can then say uh, enter the password. Uh, password equals input um, what is your password? Okay, um, and here's the thing we can then um, check to see whether the password, whether the value associated with uh, the um, key that we've specified in uname matches. Right? Remember, uname is the key that we're searching for. If I type in Bob, it will find Bob in my list of keys. We then now can access that uh, key value pair, find out what the value is and compare it to the password, right? So we can now do something like if um, access uname equals uh, password password uh, we can print uh, access granted otherwise we can print access denied. Okay, uh, and if we get to this bit here, we could say else um, print that user doesn't exist. Like that. Um, I'm just going to delete all this code at the top here, get rid of all that student nonsense. Right, there we go. If I now run this um, code, what do we got? Right, what is your username? If I type in Bob, then it's going to look up the username Bob, because I'm typing in um, Bob here, and it's going to store it in uname. It's then going to say if uname in access.keys. So if Bob, what I've just typed in, the string Bob, exists in the list of keys, 
associated with the access dictionary and here's our list of keys I can see Bob does exist there then it's going to ask me for the for the password okay username exists brilliant what is your password well I know that pass uh, Bob's password is Alice if I type in Alice let's have a look what's going on here it's saying if access you name well you name is Bob so that's the same as saying if access Bob so if we go to access we find the key Bob what's associated with that Alice so if Alice equals whatever I've typed in here password well I've typed in Alice that should match it should say access granted and it does right if I run that again what is my username if I put uh, Vegeta it says oh that user does not exist yeah because the name Vegeta does not exist in our list of keys right um, let's try it again with Bob again uh, I'm going to type in Bob and we get to this point what is your password if I type in uh, Harry let's say uh, you can see access denied because that does not match the password okay it's not the greatest password protection thing in the universe but it shows you how you can use dictionaries uh, to match uh, passwords and usernames uh, on, a, uh, on a fairly straightforward basis okay and really I mean there's a lot more to dictionaries than just that um, as well as um, pulling out the keys you can also pull out the values as well um, not sure how much that would help you out it would depend on how it's structured usually you're going to be searching for keys um, one thing you can't do you cannot order the dictionaries okay um, if you need an ordered list you've got to stick with lists dictionaries will not work okay um, hopefully that gives you some uh, some pointers on how to use dictionaries and um, maybe you've got some ideas in mind about how to set up certain password protected uh, pages or uh, applications